Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I've got the best custom tactics for the 4 one 2 one 2 formation in FIFA 23 But quickly before we do get into today's video, if you aren't around, be sure to subscribe to the channel notifications to us miss any more videos on the channel if you do enjoy it, smash thumbs up and leave your thoughts on these tactics in the comments below Let's jump straight into it right now Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm using the 4 one 2 one 2 2 formation with the two centre midfielders rather than the left mid and the right mid Just prefer the way this plays, the left and right mid seem to drift out way too much for me in my opinion I like the two centre mids, it really solidifies that midfield for me, I just like how it plays and as you see, I've got Premier League team set up for the objectives I was doing. But in terms of my custom tactics, this is the formation and custom tactics I use on my main squad as well. Uh, my custom tactics look like this, guys. We're going to start off with a defensive style on balanced. Our width is going to be at 45, around that sort of number, and depth at around 50. My build-up play is going to be balanced. And then chance creation is going to be direct passing. I like the way direct passing plays. I've messed about with this recently because I've only just started playing FIFA again since the last couple of months. So I've been messing about with this a little bit, and direct passing definitely feels the best for me. I like the way it plays. Good build-up play. Everyone seems to make some nice runs. There's a lot of, there's a lot of options every time one of your players got the ball width for that is going to be about 53 players in the box we are going to bring it up so there is three that aren't selected and then for corners and free kicks we're just having it on two in terms of the formation obviously like we said we are running the 4 one 2 one 2 2 and in terms of instructions we go for both our strikers they're going to be stay central and getting behind they're just going to make the best runs possible obviously chances are you're going to have someone's fast in behind you know you've got players up front that are quick they're going to be able to get away from the defender and make some really really nice runs for our center attack in mid we're going to play with stay forward and that is it for those so for our left centre mid, we are going to change the attacking supports to stay back while attacking and everything else is left on default. Our right centre mid is going to be left on completely default. It's not going to be anything like stay back while attacking like our left centre mid. We're going to have our right centre mid so he's balanced. He's going to be getting backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. So he sort of slots in next to the cam when you are attacking. So you've almost got four up front. And then when you're defending, obviously you've got the, your left centre mid that's going to slot in with the CDM. So obviously you've got your defenders and then you've got two midfielders that are going to sort of sit in that hole. And then you've got four players that are going to run forwards. And then I'll show you what I do with the left back and right back as well. Uh, in terms of our CDM, we're going to have balanced defence, stay back while attacking, normal interceptions cover center so he sits in and just plays in that center role he's going to let the midfielders that are left and right go and cover the wings and then obviously we've got our wing backs that are going to cover out there as well so we make sure our cdm stays dead central and we're going to have it's a deep lion playmaker which basically just means he's going to sit nice and close to the defense so if you do get caught on a counter attack there's a good chance you've got five defenders rather than four because that cdm is going to sit nice and deep for you our left back and right back is literally just on stay back while attacking. And I've noticed with this formation, they still seem to get forwards quite a bit, but it's not too much. They're not going to be crazy forwards, so you're never going to get caught out with just both your left back and right back way far at the pitch. They sit at quite a nice depth, so you're never going to get caught out where your left and right back just aren't there. And if you have two pacey wing backs, you're going to be okay anyway, because they can get up the pitch and they'll get back in time anyway. I very, very rarely get caught without a left back or a right back in position, unless I personally have moved them out of position. It's never the game that's done it. Our center backs are just normal on default the whole time. And then for our goalkeeper, guys, we're going to have it on comes for crosses and a balance for the saving outside the box. Obviously, your roles are going to completely change to whichever players you've got in your team. Uh, mine are just default. I haven't changed them at all. But if you guys want to change them, you can go ahead and do that. But that, guys, is the best uh, 4 one 2 one 2 custom tactics in FIFA 23. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to smash the thumbs up. If there's any other formations you want to see me do custom tactics on, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you're not ready. And I'll catch you in the next one in a bit.